Meiosis is a central event in the lives of most eukaryotes, including humans. Gametes are produced with half the number of chromosomes of their parent cells. This allows them to fuse and form a genetically unique diploid embryo that grows into an adult. Mitosis results in two daughter cells that each has the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus. This is typical of ordinary tissue growth and repair. In a mitosis chromosome, cohesion exists along the entire length of the chromosome, between centromeres and along chromosome arms. Sister kinetochores lie back to back and face in opposite directions. During mitosis, chromosome cohesion is gradually lost over the entire length of the chromosome, as sister chromatids separate and move to opposite poles in anaphase. In meiosis I, two pairs of sister chromatids are linked together to form bivalence. They're held together as a result of sister chromatid cohesion along chromosome arms and the presence of one or more crossovers between the two homologous chromosomes. Sister kinetochores in each bivalent are seemingly fused together and sister chromatids appear to share a single fused kinetochore. In anaphase 1, cohesion between sister chromatid arms is gradually released, but cohesion between the centromeres of sister chromatids is maintained. As a result, pairs of sister chromatids separate from one another and move to each spindle pole. In meiosis 2, chromosomes attach to the spindle differently, with changes in chromosome structure, and chromatids are distributed with one to each future gamete. When the chromosome attaches to the spindle, a single kinetochore is associated with each sister chromatid, and the kinetochores separate. Throughout metaphase 2, centromere cohesion is retained. In anaphase 2, centromere cohesion is released, causing sister chromatids to separate and move into splitting daughter cells. This results in four haploid meiotic products that can become gametes. Kinetochore arrangement and chromosome cohesion are key changes in chromosome structure in meiosis. Therefore, changes in chromosome structure in meiosis 1 and 2 are responsible for the correct reduction of the number of chromosomes in the process of meiosis.